friends, neighbors, and visitors from other galaxies, it is me, Painted Reyna, your friendly neighborhood witch of what the f***. And it's January 2024. It's been a year. So today I am going to show you how I made this super cool Northern Lights painting out of resin and paint. And I'm also going to give you some life updates. So it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Uh, except here and there sporadically for a couple of collabs where I had actual deadlines to meet. Um, deadlines can be a really good thing for people like me who are extremely busy and also have ADHD. So yay for deadlines. Anyway, I'm just going to fill you in a little bit. If you're brand new to my channel, this will all be new to you. And if you've been watching me for some time, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. So. I haven't been around in a year and a half, almost two years now. Uh, my mother had dementia and I was one of her caregivers as her degree, as her disease progressed over time. And on August 2nd of this year, she uh, set sail to Valinor. I'll put it that way because she was such a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Tears. <laughs> I still cry a lot. It's really hard to say, um, even though it's been a couple of months. And it was very expected. She was my mom. So there was that. <laughs> um, taking care of her, uh, I'm being a caretaker. If you haven't been a caretaker before, I hope you never are. But um, it's taxing mentally, emotionally, physically, in every way, shape, and form. It's hard on your job. It's hard on your relationships. It's hard on you. And I just didn't have the capacity to, you know, sit down and do YouTube videos. I, I simply didn't. So that chapter of my life has passed now, and I am reacclimating to the real world. Now, <laughs> 2023 was, uh, it was hard. That wasn't the only tragedy. Um, my cat, Jack, he died six weeks to the day after my mom. Uh, he had cancer and we didn't know until, like it was absolutely too late. Um, he was 14. He was diabetic. We gave him two shots a day and we doted on him. We just absolutely loved that cat. And he was just very much a, a one cat family, one animal family type of cat. So we didn't have any other pets along with Jack. We had him and we loved him. Um, so that really, uh, that was so unexpected that it really threw me and John, uh, Mr. WTF, uh, for quite the loop. A month after that, a month catless, and we're both such cat people, we adopted three new kittens. We have Orpheus, Poseidon, and Persephone. Eventually they're going to pop up into view. They're playing right now. Like you can probably hear little scuttles and gallops in the background. They are the most adorable cats. They're three siblings, actually. So the story is the mother and all three kittens were spotted on a live uh, a live cam on somebody's farm and they set out a live trap to hopefully get them um and they did they got two of the cats that was poseidon i don't know if you heard that but it was really cute anyway they got two kittens they got orpheus and persephone um orpheus a boy and persephone is a girl <laughs> and it just so happened that on that day, I put out on social media that we were ready to um, bring some new cats into our home and we wanted probably two. And I got a message from the person who found them and gosh, they were cute. We went and met them and loved them. And we waited a couple of days because there was another set of black kittens and I've always wanted black cats and I wanted to meet them too. But like Orphe and Persephone, like absolutely stole our hearts. So we took them. Uh, about three weeks later, I got a message from the fellow who found them and they got the third kitten in the live trap. And the third kitten, lo and behold, black, completely black. And I couldn't, 
imagine separating the siblings, even though they'd been separated for a couple of weeks, like ultimately they had to be back together and I'd get my black cat. So now we have three cats. We went from one to three, but we're pretty happy. They're pretty amazing little animals. So that was October. Uh, and then in November, my best friend growing up from the time that I was in third grade to always um, suffered a tragic accident and she died too. So I have been <laughs> healing, I guess. Um, the kittens have been incredibly helpful. Uh, they like to snuggle up and teaching me how to take it down a notch and relax a little bit uh, rather than pushing myself to the nth degree like every moment of every day. So thank you to the kittens for helping me heal during this extremely challenging year. Now, I have been making art. I have been filming things from time to time, but the editing just takes so long that that's why I really haven't been around regularly. It's just, I don't have the time to edit. So hopefully in 2024, I'll have this time again now that things are a little bit more, you know, settled, knock on, where's some wood? I need some wood. Okay, there's some wood on the chair. So knocking on wood. Hopefully things will be a little bit more settled this year and I can return back to art. Now, speaking of art, I have been busy. I have been running an Etsy store that's featuring mainly the jewelry that I make with my laser cutter. I design it and, and then hand make it, list it. So today I'm wearing some of my iridescent collection. This is my new Misheard Lyrics collection. So I've got earrings and pendants. These ones say, your love is like a bad venison. Bad venison is what I need. But I've also got ones like Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza, Count the Headlights on the Highway, and <laughs> uh, Wrapped Up Like a Douche, Another Rumor in the Night. I've got Hit Me With Your Pet Shark and Fire Away. That's a pendant, so I've got pendants and earrings. So I know not everybody wears gigantic earrings like I do, but for those of you who do, I got plenty of that. But necklaces anyway. So I hit 400 sales recently. I think I'm now at like 420 today and that's been doing really well for me and enjoying the heck out of that. I've completely rebranded my website. It's, uh, it was too confusing when I was Driftless Enchantments, which was a name I came up for, I came up with for local markets because the local markets just did not like the name Witch of What the F***. So I had to pick something family friendly uh, picked that and then, you know, a little while later, the name Painted Raina came to me. And then I was running like three Instagrams and like I'm not even good at Instagram or keeping up with it. So I've consolidated Driftless Enchantments is still like the name of my LLC, but my website now is Painted Raina. My Instagram is Painted Raina. My YouTube, like, Painted Raina. I, I have to figure out what to do with TikTok yet. That's still which WTF. But, you know, I'm consolidating. Everything's going to be under one name because simple is key, right? And I'd never do anything simply. <laughs> so I've been talking forever right now. And I'm honestly surprised the kittens haven't come and jumped up on me yet. <laughs> hey, let's talk about this actual artwork. I started with a 16 by 20 canvas. It is primed with black acrylic gesso. So I used Liquitex. It's a really good gesso. And then I am using art resin and art resin is pretty great. I've used a lot of resins, not all of them, but a lot. And so far that's my favorite. And I'm coloring all the resins with TLP or this little piggy pigments. And I'm using specifically interference pigments because they change depending on uh, the substrate, the color of the substrate that they're placed on. So with black, as this one's starting, they really glow when their color really comes out. Uh, if you put them on a white background, they're super subtle because this is what they look like in jars. Um, this particular color is velvet, so this is the blue, and you can kind of see the blue showing through there, but you see how incredibly vibrant it is with the black background. So, 
the kitties are climbing the Christmas tree that we still have up because we're in Wisconsin where winter is extra devastatingly gross. So we leave up our Christmas tree and until like February or March and just call it the winter tree. So it just helps cheer us up. So for this one, I'm using six different shades of TLP, all interference. And I have got velvet. This is the blue. I'm not going in order. Sorry, I'm just not organized for that. Rose quartz. This is the red. Kind of hard to see, but you can kind of get a hint. Pinot Gris. This, okay, you can really see the green there. This is the green. Glisten. This is the teal or the turquoise. This is my personal favorite because everybody knows that teal turquoise is my favorite color. So I love this one. Ball gown. This is the gold or the yellow. And then finally we have sequins, which is the purple. And this one is like super beautiful too. I mixed each one up with less than an ounce of resin and you can see how much pigment I'm actually putting in there, which is not a lot, you know, just like start with the tip of the popsicle stick and, and add more if you need to. You can never add less. So start conservatively, add just a little bit, see if it's enough and you can always add more. I covered the whole canvas with a thin layer of resin and then poured on the different colors. Now I did like sideways because this is the first time I've ever attempted anything like an Aurora uh, with resin. Now I've done with oil paint, but I haven't done it with resin. And next time I would, I would do vertical stripes rather than the horizontal, or maybe I would do like a mix or maybe I would hand mix them a little bit more. This is all an experiment. Um, I like it. I think it's got a ton of potential, but there are some things that I need to change up. So we'll be adding the colors in a little bit different pattern next time. So once I got them all applied, I used a heat gun on the lowest setting to kind of blow them out. And I did, you know, mix them a little bit here and there, you can see, and I tilted the heck out of it. See, tilting is not just for paint, it's great for resin paintings too. I made the stars by using Amsterdam. I think I have some here. I do, I do. Amsterdam, wonderful acrylic paint. I feel like it's not gonna focus. There, oh, did it focus if I had my face? There we go. If I had my face. It focuses. But I took some of that and watered it down and then uh, just a little bit of water, you know, tiny bits of water at a time until you get a consistency, kind of like heavy whipping cream. And I've got that special Liquitex splatter brush that I'm showing you and it's like long, um, like I cleaned for a party and I don't know where it is right now. It's got these long rigid plastic bristles. I mean, they're flexible, but they're rigid. You know, they're not floppy by any means. And you just uh, put a little paint on, on the tips and then <laughs> just like that with the sound effect, of course. And uh, that's how you can add stars pretty easily. Obviously, I did that after the resin was cured. And then once the stars were dried, I went in with some more of this just in black um, where where the black is, I don't know. That's probably in the same box as the splatter block brush and we don't know where that is. I hand painted the trees on uh, and I used a fan brush. A fan brush is very easy for making the tree texture. Once those were dry, I gave it some time and then I put a clear coat over it. I did not put a second coat of resin over it yet because I just, I was on a tight deadline and uh, I just didn't have time to do a resin coating, but I did put some varnish on there and that brings out the black uh, or deepens the black and really makes it pop. So the trees effectively um, stand out a lot better against that beautiful background because if I had just left the, it like raw acrylic paint, it didn't look right. Like it needed to have the depth and the shine that I brought out with a clear coat. So eventually, I would like to think someday, <laughs> someday I'll put a clear coat of resin over the top of this, but I make no guarantees. Um, it looks pretty nice as is. I may just do a second coat of varnish, throw it in a frame and call it a day. So we'll see. So here it is in natural white. 
and you can see the sheen on the trees. You can see the little bit of texture too that would not be there if I put resin over this. So this is the work. I do actually really like it. I think I'm going to try some more, especially with putting the resin on in a vertical fashion rather than horizontal. And uh, we'll see what I can come up with. And I would love if you try this to tag me in it on Instagram. I'm at Painted Reina and show me what your results look like, because who doesn't want to try this super easy, fun way to do resin art? Guys, this is Orpheus. Orpheus looks a lot like Jack. <laughs> They're in like heavy play mode right now, so I don't think that he's really into be cuddling. Oh, but here comes Sister Persephone. Come here, Persephone. Come here, BB. Come here, girl. Come on. I'm just gonna snatch her. We're sitting in my kitchen on the kitchen stools. This is Persephone. Isn't she the cutest? Look at her. Look at that face. I love this little, this little ragamuffin is the cutest. She sleeps next to me every night, like with her face in my neck. And um, I love it. I love her. She's just like the biggest cuddle bug in the world. <laughs> Poseidon's playing on the kitchen floor. Poseidon is a little bit of a recluse. I don't know if I'm gonna get him, but he's like a really cute, solid black cat, so. Now you at least see my kittens. Well, two of the three, but two out of three ain't bad. So says Meatloaf, right? And we all know Meatloaf is like where it's at, right? <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> I love these cats. I've got my list of materials down in the description. I've also got all my social links. So I would love if you would visit them, you know, check out my website, especially if you're like a big earring wearing kind of gal. Uh, thank you to Annie Morcos who put this video on her channel for the, the, the December of this little piggy collab, the switcheroo. Uh, Annie is a super fun resin artist that I got to meet at Porcon and we became instant friends and she's awesome. So I was pretty happy that my video showed up on her channel. Rock on Annie. Thank you to Fluid Art Company for making my favorite product ever, TLP. Ooh, I, this is the one where I accidentally ripped off half the label. Thanks for making this. It makes my life better. Now that I've given you the life update, I just want to say thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking around. The future is bright. I just bought a brand new laser to replace the first one because it was starting to get kind of wonky. So I've got some really fun resin and laser pieces up my sleeves. I've got some painting I want to get back to because I have not painted in like over a year and all sorts of more creative shenanigans. I'm going to be working on recording my next album this year. Good times, good times in Raina's world and fingers crossed. I think I'm gonna go full-time art this year. So this is my goal. Let's see if we make it happen. Wish me luck. If you wanna help make that happen, my shop links are down below to my Shopify and my Etsy, so I'd love that. All right, take care. I'll see you soon. Cheers.